Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you want to place a nice looking torch into your scene, but then you find out that the fire that comes with the stars of content really isn't favoring you? Well, here I'm going to show you really fast and really easy, completely for free, how you can make a nice looking torch with the same type of fire, just edited and in a very simple manner. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is to go up here, top right, into settings, click on plugins. And then you have to search for Niagara. You like the river, and you have to check for this plugin, Cascade to Niagara Converter. Just enable it. If you don't have it enabled, you will have to restart your engine. I already have it enabled, so I'm just gonna close this window. And when you enable your Niagara system, what you want to do is to go into your content folder, to start your content, click on particles, and here you will have the fire particle. Now, if you have your plugin enabled, you should be able to right click onto the fire particle and click on to convert to Niagara system. It's going to then create a copy of that same particle, but in the Niagara system instead of the cascade particle system. The copy has now been created. I'm just going to rename it. You can rename it whatever you want. I'm just going to go P underscore torch tutorial now that you have it saved click on enter and you can leave it here you can put it anywhere you want i'm just going to put it into my niagara folder for my scene go here here it is now you can drag it in and you will realize that it is the same article that we had before you can now open it. You want to disable the sparks and you want to disable the flame series for one. First off, I recommend you to change every single property into GPU compute sim. This is going to make the effects basically to be processed by the graphics card instead of the CPU. It's going to save you performance and it's going to look overall better. And yeah, now that you have done that, you can now go ahead and tweak the settings. Okay. Now that we're here, we're going to start with the flames. The first thing we want to do is to disable the light rendered cascade commercial light properties, dynamic material parameters 001, dynamic material parameters, and add velocity linear. Now we have disabled this, we can start with the spawn rate. We're going to click on that and increase it to around 8, so we have more fire coming in. Now you go into add velocity 001 and turn off or turn to zero, the minimum X and maximum x values of the fire so you can only go into the set axis which is up now you want to go into shape location of the sphere and decrease the sphere radius to two so all the fire is going to only come out from a sphere radius of two which is ideal for our torch if you want to use a larger model for the head of the torch you can increase the radius to three or four depending on what you like you can do tests on that but this is more of a generic view of what you can do with the torch now this is Everything we want to do with the fire, we're going to go now into the smoke. We're going to click first in the spawn rate and again increase spawn rate to around 10. So we have a constant flow of smoke coming in. You want to go into add velocity linear and as well uh, decrease the minimum X and maximum X values to zero. So you is only coming out on top. And now we want to go into scale sprite size. Click on the middle and add a key. Now what you want to is increase this key a little bit up and decrease the last key a little bit down so it's basically gonna start small and then be quite big at like the middle of the fire and then it's gonna become smaller over time you can just tweak around to whatever you like this looks good to me if you don't really like this you can change it this is just pure personal preference now that we have that we're gonna go into embers we're gonna be a decrease in the spawn rate of the embers to around 5. We're gonna also be going into the shape location of the sphere. The sphere radius we're gonna decrease it to around 3. And we're also gonna go into initial particle and then in the sprite size section we're gonna just be changing the sizes. I'd like to have more mine in around 1 and 1 1.5 and why 3 and 5. This looks good to me. We still have embers. 
it looks perfect to me. If you want to, you can decrease these numbers. Actually, I'm going to do that. And it looks nice to me. We have embers going around, and they're not very big. And you want to turn off Add Velocity 001 and Add Velocity. So that's it. Now we're going to go into Distortion. I just want to decrease the spawn rate to around 3. Actually, it's not very clear. And that's pretty much it. Now you can trick around with the settings, it's very easy, it's very simple to, to look at. And if we go back into our test mode, we can see that now we have a nice local fire over here. Yeah, this is the before, this is the after. This is what I had before. Now if you really want to, you can add a point light into your torches, this is what I did here. If I go into game view, you can see that I have added a point light into the torch. And what I do is to only add just a stick from Quixel Bridge and a piece of burnt wood. I use the burnt firewood, uh, added from Quixel Bridge, and a palisade spike as well. You can do whatever you want. And this is just how it detorches. Well, this has been everything, guys. If you learned something, if this video has been helpful to you, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any tips, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'm trying to make guides for people to understand the basics of Unreal Engine 5. And it's everything. See you in the next time.